So the ring now fully lit and ready for our first performer. And the first uh, performance is going to be Karen Sykes. Uh, she has her dog Midge, who's a working sheepdog called King's Farm Spring Surprise. Three-year-old bitch it is. And they're doing the Hungarian dance number five. And the music is provided by the Hungarian Philharmonic Orchestra. Karen has competed and demonstrated at Crufts for many years. It's this dog's first year in the finals. They also competed yesterday in the freestyle and equipped, uh, acquitted themselves pretty well. Karen Sykes and Midge.
And a good performance there by Karen. It's very difficult to get uh, a great deal of variety into the movements there, so as much as they can get, because the restriction on uh, you're not allowed to get the dog running away from you or going a distance and doing different things. You have to keep the dog very close to you. So the judges will hand their scores in. Those will go to the uh, adjudicators in the corner and uh, we'll then see our second performance before we get the scores. Uh, it will ultimately speed everything up, and uh, the next performance just coming into the ring, bringing uh, a few props, but it'll still be heel work and not freestyle. And Gina there collecting the scorecards, but they've got to go back to the desk to be collated properly. And we won't be waiting for the scores. We'll be introducing our next performer. And she'll be coming in now. Here she comes. On the left-hand side of the screen, you can see her in the entrance there. This is Jackie Roberts and Charlie. Charlie's an eight-year-old dog, real veteran. Rossimac Marmite Shoulder, or Rossmac Marmite Shoulder. That's Charlie's full kennel name. The music is called The Road Goes On by A. Rahman. Charlie's Jackie's first dog following her early retirement. <laughs> Calling you to stray Step by step Pulling you away Under moon and star Take the road No matter how far Where it leads No one ever knows Don't look back Follow where it goes Far beyond the sun Take the road Wherever it runs The road goes on Ever, ever run Hill by hill Mile by mile Field by field Style by style The road goes on Ever, ever run The road goes on Ever, ever run More by more Glen by glen Fail by fail Fail by fail The road goes on Some pears, succulent and sweet To the farthest shore Take the road a hundred miles more Sweet pink trout will tickle from the stream Milk the goat will churn it into cream Far beyond the sun Take the road wherever it runs The road goes on
Well, they're a very good demonstration by Jackie and Charlie. Uh, Charlie started his heel words music uh, when he was just one year old. He loves learning new things. That movement away at the end, I think probably that is just allowed um, the, because the dog is supposed to stay close. But in the, the previous performance by Karen Sykes, we also saw uh, the dog uh, moving away and then jumping through her arm. So there is something allowed. There's a little bit of leeway, but essentially they have to be close and they're as close as can be without leaning on. That's a very important thing. And there were some very good shots during that of seeing how the dog positions itself whilst it concentrates so hard. Well, we should get the score in just a second for Karen Sykes before we bring in our third uh, competitor. The training that goes into the heel work to music and the freestyle performance really is fantastic. But it just shows what can be done with a dog. And these dogs, they love to work. This is Karen's score, 24.03. That's not too bad at all. A nice eight there for accuracy. And the musical interpretation was good at 8.17. So this was Karen and uh, Kings Farm Spring Surprise. Midge is the dog's name. There we were. So well done, Karen, 24.03. She obviously has the only score we have, so she's in the lead at the moment, but that's the score which they have to beat. So now we have our next competitor coming into the ring. There she is. This is Annette Lowe with Baileyol. It's a border collie known as Kinaway Mystic Spies. That's a full, uh, full name. Four-year-old dog. Liberty Bell by the Philip Jones Ensemble.
very jolly and sprightly performance there from Let No, uh, from Net Low and Baliol. And this is Baliol's second visit to Crufts for He'll Work to Music final. And we just take a look at some of the elements of that. And she took part yesterday in the uh, freestyle final, which was less interesting, I have to say, than. Uh, than this, I think she did this really rather well, and it wouldn't surprise me if she goes into the lead with it. Very precise, very neat, quite a lot of variety, and uh, yes, I, I hold out a bit of hope for this. We, sh we shall see. Dog performing very well indeed. He's a very keen little chap, isn't he? I well, now we're awaiting the score for our previous competitor, Jackie Roberts. 23.83 puts her in second place there. 8.23 for musical interpretation. That was quite high, but the other scores were a little bit lower. So musical interpretation was very good. The, the rest not quite as good, and uh, it puts her in second place at the moment. We have to wait, of course, for a net low and Balliol score. That'll come after our next performer. This is number four. So coming into the ring now, we see Caroline Garrett and Forks. Oh my word, this looks very spectacular. Dog's kennel name is Wild Sea Phoenix of Fire. It's aboard a collie, an eight year old dog, a real veteran here as well. And the music is uh, the original cast of Phantom of the Opera, Sarah Brightman and Steve Harley. They won this competition last year.
I'm sure they'll get very good marks uh, when they come through for the musical interpretation there. And the dog appears to be working very precisely. At the beginning, of course, with the cloak, we couldn't always see how close the dog was, but I think it was really a rather good performance. Um, still uh, wait. You can see here <laughs> the dog well shrouded at this point. Is the dog doing it well or not? We can't tell. But uh, Forks, he's called. Eight years old. It's lovely to see. I mean, you think uh, the amount of time that one has to spend with a dog to get this kind of performance out of it. And this is what Border Collies need. They love to work. And uh, Forks, obviously, having the time of his life out there, not phased by the arena or the crowd, which is getting bigger every minute. So I've got to say, we're about half full here now, which is it's absolutely fantastic at this time of day. Mm -hmm. 